U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton met her Chinese counterpart, Yang Jiechi, at a regional security meeting of ASEAN. And that's the 10-member Association of Southeast Asian Nations. And the big elephant in the room was the issue of what constitutes China's seas. And at least three countries, as you mentioned, accused China of claiming their territorial waters. That's led to things like small-scale confrontations on the high seas, as well as indirect economic sanctions. Now, today in Cambodia, Clinton told all nations involved that they should, quote, resolve disputes without coercion, without intimidation, without threats, and without the use of force. But it doesn't look like any country is going to back off its claims anytime soon. Now, interestingly, just yesterday at the ASEAN summit's foreign minister meeting, well, China reiterated its positive Asia-Pacific policy, saying, quote, China will always be a good neighbor, good friend, and good partner for other Asia-Pacific countries and contribute more to building a peaceful, growing, prosperous, and harmonious Asia-Pacific region. And you might expect other countries just might be a bit suspect about that. Uh, coming out of today's ASEAN meeting, though, there doesn't seem to be any united message from the countries in attendance, but Beijing has restressed that it does want to co-develop the waters that everyone wants. So this issue, Menina, is definitely not going to go away. Yeah, Romy, at the heart of it all, it's not just an issue of land or water that China wants, really, is it? No, you're exactly right. It's actually about resources, and it's not water that China wants. It's actually what's under the water. And uh, China's uh, Xinhua News Agency actually estimates the South China Sea area has a whopping uh, one-third of the country's total oil and gas resource. Now, uh, take a look at this map right here. Uh, China's claim to international waters actually goes as far out as uh, this red line that I'm drawing all the way through here. And if Beijing keeps to the United Nations law of the sea, that line would only come out to a 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone, or EEZ. That's about 370 kilometers from the shore, uh, maybe about an hour's flight away from the coast, give or take. Now, in its argument with the Philippines, for example, China uh, lays claim to an area called the Scarborough Shoal. Uh, those islands actually lie only about 200 kilometers from the Philippine coastline. But get this, they're one 1,000 kilometers from China's Hainan Island. Uh, China has also uh, laid claim to islands over in Vietnam. Uh, this protester right here earlier this month said the Paracel as well as the Spratly Islands belong to the country. And of course, as we know, Japan and China have had some long-running disputes as there, uh, there as well over the Senkaku Islands as they're known there or the Diaoyu Islands as they're known over in China. But Nina, like I said, no one expects these spats to stop anytime soon and it all does boil down to oil as well as gas resources.